Hey, this is Nick Nelson, from the Mad Scientist of Muscle, and what I've got for you today is a fat loss circuit training workout done using just an empty, completely unloaded Olympic barbell, a 45 pound bar, and this is going to be exercises done using the explosive movement pattern, uh, basically anything done explosively fits the bill here. For this one, I'm going to be doing a one arm barbell hang, clean, and press. The second exercise is going to be a push exercise, and this one is going to be a lying bridge position one arm barbell floor press. Now this, well it sounds complicated but it's really not that bad and I'm going to give you a quick demo here before I get into the actual workout so I can kind of explain things as I'm doing it. Uh, when I'm doing the actual workout I'm going to be huffing and puffing way too much to talk. The second exercise is going to be a one arm barbell row alternating between a forward pronated grip and a sideways neutral grip. Now this is going to be done two reps on either uh, kind of grip. The only difference is how you're facing your body. Now I'll show you this one here as well and explain that. The third, ex uh, fourth exercise, sorry, is going to be a one, uh, a one legged pistol, basically done with the barbell held out in front to counterbalance. Now, this one is a tough one. It's going to require a fair bit of leg strength to do, as well as upper body strength to hold the bar out in front. Um, if you're not able to, you can always do um, basically a, a lunge exercise. You can do like a, a clean position or a curl position, a reverse lunge, forward lunge. You can put the bar on your back. You can do a front position. Basically, whatever uh, floats your boat, whatever works for you for your current strength level for the single bar. The final exercise is for your posterior chain, and that is going to be a single leg good morning done with the bar across your back. Now, this exercise is one you really want to use light weight with, so the empty bar is just perfect for it. This one's all about feel, and I'll give you a quick demo of that here as well. So, without further ado, here are the uh, five exercises that you're going to be going through, and when you're doing the actual fat loss circuit training, Instead of taking rest in between these exercises, you're going to do 40 seconds of moderate intensity, moderate intensity cardio training, which in my case, I'm going to be doing just a simple bench step up for 40 seconds in between the sets. So, like I said, I'm going to go through the exercises right now, and the actual workout, I'll show you the whole thing, but it's going to be massively speeded up. So, don't worry about to sit through a 25-minute workout to see everything. This is going to be quick exercise demos here, and then, boom, we're through it in a couple minutes. So. The first exercise is the one arm barbell hang clean and press. Now the trick with this one is you want to grip very much in the center of the bar. You don't want to be off center with your grip here at all. The other major trick here is when you're doing the exercise, you actually want to use the other arm as a shelf to balance the bar on. It's going to keep your shoulder position um, proper basically in a horizontal so that you're not tilting and tipping the bar a lot. So grip in the center, just kind of Feel the balance, make sure it's in the, the center of the movement. And then it's the same exact exercise. A hip snap. And then press up. See what it looks like the other side. Give you a quick front-on front on demo here as well. I'm sure I'm not going to knock any lights off my ceiling. Basically, like I said, the real key with this one, you want to make sure you get that other non-working arm up to uh, create a shelf. So just like so, and then press up. Now, you can use this one not just with an empty bar, but uh, five tens, some light weights, if you want to uh, get a little bit more progressive and advanced with this one. Second exercise is the push exercise. Now this one is going to be lying just on the floor. Get the bar right in your lap here. Now, very simply, get your hand in the center. You're going to be up in the bridge position. The other leg is going to be held up. So, it's almost like a decline bench position. Then, press up. Not only are you getting uh, some good chest work here, you're also getting great core training by holding yourself up in that position with that other side leg off the ground. Now you want to make sure your leg 
that's down is the same side as the arm you're pressing with, because that's going to be what's going to be exerting the pressure to keep you from tilting and falling over. So just switch hands, repeat on the other side. Up from the bar. Now, next exercise the pull exercise. Very simply, a barbell row, like so. You're going to do two reps, and then twist, and then two reps, neutral, and then Two different planes of movement um, really targets different muscles of the upper back. So you're not only just working one movement pattern, but by uh, twisting and changing your position on each uh, every second rep, you're really involving a lot more muscle mass. So you're really working your upper back very, very effectively, actually. Now, the squat exercise. Now, I'll be the first to tell you my range of motion is not 100% on this one. Um, I've been doing a lot of leg training recently, so my legs are a little bit fried. So I'll probably be doing about a half rep here, just so you know, right up front. You go down as far as you can though when you're doing this. That's the key. Take an overhand grip. Pull the bar out in front. Could be a bit of an issue. So, like I said, if you're strong in the legs, this is one that you can really do really, really well. Um, holding that bar out in front, coming down into a full squat, pistol squat. If you can't do the uh, pistol squat, you can also do this as a lunge. You can do it as a curl lunge or with a bar in your back or with the bar held across your shoulders in a clean position. So this would be the curl lunge, just the top of the curl coming down into the lunge. You can add a little bit of uh, extra challenge to it by holding that bar with just one arm. That'll hit your obliques as well. So that is another option as you're doing the uh, squatting uh, posterior chain type of movement. Now, moving on to the posterior chain exercise. This is going to be a single leg good morning. Now you can also sub in a single leg stiff legged deadlift if you are so inclined. You can uh, do that one. It might be a little bit easier. The good morning is a great exercise, but if you're not familiar with it, don't start by doing it here. Uh, do it properly in the rack with the bar using both legs. So if you're familiar with the good morning, you can try this one. If you're not, try doing a single leg Stiff like a deadlift instead. So, get the bar on your back, and then slightly bent leg. Can be a tricky, be a bit tricky on this one, so make sure that you're ready to catch yourself if you need to. Now, bottom line with that one, go nice and slow, 
very controlled, and you feel a good contraction in your glutes and in your hamstrings. All right, so I'm going to get training here now. Uh, one thing to remember, um, or one thing I should say you should also remember, is if you want to sub in any other exercises for this, that's totally fine. Uh, anything that's within your ability level, within your strength level, totally fine. I like to, what I like to do sometimes is limit myself to one particular piece of equipment and do an entire workout just with that. So in this case, I limited myself to just an empty barbell and came up with stuff based on that. So if you've got other equipment available to you, obviously you don't have to feel constrained to use just the bar, but that's what I'm going to do. So everything from here on in is going to be substantially faster. So here's what it looks like. Let's get training. So that is fat loss circuit training done with just a single empty barbell and it really goes to show you can cover everything with very limited equipment. So even if you're training in a home gym, um, in a gym with not a lot of equipment, or if you just want to challenge yourself to try this out with just a single piece of equipment, definitely give this a try. I think you're going to like it. It gives you a great metabolic fat burning uh, effect just because of all the different movement patterns and all the muscle groups that you're working within this in addition to the 
the cardio done instead of rest. So give this one a try and let me know how you like it.